morning, everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How are you all doing today? I hope you're having a good day. I'm doing not too badly. Um, even though I was up at 4.30. Um, between Sydney and Jonah and Lilybell. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, everybody got me up. So, uh... Anyways, I, um, um, I've been already working here on my Halloween sampler, as you can see. So, I would like to welcome all of my newest subscribers, and of course, all you returning subscribers. It does my heart good that you're all here to watch me. I am up to, what was it, 456, I think, yeah, I believe, or was it 457? Well, it's one of them anyways, but I thank you so very much for um, being a part of my channel. You know, you're all such a blessing to me. God has so richly blessed me with knowing all of you and that so um but anyway um so yeah here i'm working on this halloween sampler and i'm getting closer yeah closer closer and closer um after this starts to upload i have to um go and take the um, garbage out. I took the recycling out yesterday. So at least it's gone. But I have to take the garbage out this morning. So as long as it's out there before, I don't know, 11 o'clock, I, I, sh I should be okay. They kind of come at different times and, and that. So... I've been watching um, Christmas crafts um, just on, you know, people doing different things for Christmas this year. And uh, it's wonderful to see the um, imagination and the skill from uh, these crafters who, you know, like, how do they come up with this like I'm just I don't know I can't <laughs> I'm a, I'm a follower I'm not a leader <laughs> so yeah yesterday afternoon I didn't do much really I did go for a walk so that was good I was happy about that and uh, because, you know, before long, it's going to be that the snow flies. And, yeah, I did see on on um, YouTube there or on the Weather Channel there that Michigan got hit with snow. Really? I think it was Michigan, Wisconsin, maybe. Illinois, I don't know. They can keep it. They can, they can, they can keep it. Uh, it's we get too much of it, so it's kind of nice when somebody else gets it. So, yeah. So, but. You know, our turn is coming for sure. For sure. It's, um... That's the thing about living where we are. Is that it is that there is... Um... There's no doubt about it that we get snow and cold. But I keep praying... I keep praying. So. Yeah. So. 
So otherwise, <clears throat> I don't know what else. I'm drawing a blank today, peeps. I'm drawing an absolute blank. So I've got the packages to mail today. I'm just hoping that my uh, printer will respond. It wasn't doing it the other day. It wasn't, my iPhone wasn't recognizing um, the printer or the printer wasn't recognizing the iPhone. They, they weren't talking to each other even though <clears throat> even though the Wi-Fi part was lit up. So I have to if it doesn't go that I I can uh, print those um, labels off here at home, I'll have to go over to the library and get them done there. So, yep. So yesterday afternoon, I continued watching some more on the um, the inquest into enacting the Emergencies Act here uh, in Canada. And uh, I hope they ream those um, Liberal Party and JT and the rest of them. I just pray that they tear them up into small pieces and spit them out and th throw them down into the toilet and flush them away. And uh, can't stand them. Cannot stand them. Just cannot. It's uh, awful. But so if you're just new here, um, I do have a, a dedicated Facebook group called Stitching in the Interlake. You're welcome to join, but you must uh, give me the names of my two sidekicks. Two of my three sidekicks. Okay. And um, I mention them every day. And um, so it should be easy to... Uh, Find out what they are. You can put the response down here, but you must click on there to say that you're um, um, asking to join the group. So, and I also have a dedicated email address, which you can use too to put um, the um, the answers to. You can send that to me, and that is stitching it in the interlake, all one word, at gmail.com. So, many ways to get in touch with me. <laughs> so, there was a lady that just joined, and she is from Australia. I think she, it was New South Wales. I think. I thought that's what it was, but I can't remember. So, I hope Randy and Pam come today so that they can um, put the insulation in that back room there because it's, it's uh, you can feel the feel the chill in the air. Even though I have the furnace on, I only have it set at 18, 
I don't want to set it any higher. Because with the price of hydro being the way it is. And I guess like everybody is um, um, experiencing the same the same problem. It's just expensive no matter where you go. And as well as the price of food, right? Like it's just Ugh. You just can't get away from the the cost, the increase. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. No. This one, oh gosh, come on. And, um, Sally, um, I got in touch with 123 Stitch, and I couldn't do the gift certificate on their website so I contacted them and I gave them the information so I'm hoping it's gone through and um, but please tell me if you got it if you received it or not so if not I will get in touch with 123 stitch again for some reason, like it just kept saying, you know, what's your, um, what's the country that's sending? And I tried to put in Canada and it wouldn't, it kept rejecting it. And, um, so I, I don't know what the, uh, the issue is. Um, just a minute. There and uh, yeah, I don't know why. Like it's just not. I tried it like about four or five times, and it just kept rejecting it. Like it just kept going back to U.S. So um, I don't. I don't know. And. Probably if they take it, it will be $25 U.S. in, in um, pounds or euros or whatever it is. And, um, yeah. So... So we're supposed to get a little bit nicer weather here coming up, I think, starting tomorrow. And, um, it's, um, it's, uh, supposed to get into the teens. Um, oh, yeah, it's here on the house. Um, but I don't know, like, they, they're calling for 10. And then later on, they're calling for, like, up to 13 degrees. But I don't know. I don't know. So, I'm just praying that we do. Because, uh... The more times that it gets up there and that we have no snow and all of that, like clear skies and warmer temps, that I can go for my walk. And uh, as long as I can go for a walk, that's good. So... 
So, what I'm hoping for anyways. Uh, come on. No, that's the other one. Okay. Oops. So, uh, yeah. So tomorrow I'll be on a little bit later because I have a phone call at 9.30 for um, mental health intake. And I'm, I don't, you know, I don't hide that I have and deal with mental illness. And my mental illness is complex PTSD, borderline personality disorder, um, depression, anxiety, panic, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And suicidal ideation. Now... Some people have wondered what suicidal ideation actually means. And for me, it means that I have thoughts about it. Not that I will do it, but that I have thoughts about it. Right? I don't know why they have so much of this, this color. Hmm. Because I don't see anything more. No. No, that's a different color. So, huh. I don't know why. Unless it's for backstitching. But that's a lot for backstitching. Okay, so now we have the green, which is 16. Okay. But yeah, no, I don't, um, I don't shy away from it. Um, I believe in, if you share it, it's halved. Um, you know, pain, that goes for pain and sorrow, um, or problems. I really believe that if, if you share it, then that... Um, you know, like it takes part of it from you and then you feel, um, it lessens it in you and, um, so I, um, I, uh, so even though you know, I have these thoughts. I will never, I will never attempt again in my life. Nope. And it's funny, somebody, while well, the doctor had asked me, the psychiatrist, uh, he had asked me, um, he said, what, what keeps you from doing that? What, what keeps you going? And I said, my faith. My faith was at the top of the list because I believe that through, you know, our belief in Christ that we can do anything with all, with all, the, no, with God, all things are possible, right? And the Bible teaches us to lay our burdens at the foot of the cross so I do that, or at least I try. And I ask Jesus to carry those burdens and to um, wash me clean of these thoughts. And I will always say when thoughts come up and I will go, um, I will say, get behind me, Satan. I don't want you. 
I don't need you. I, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Um, take all these wicked, evil thoughts with you. And St. Michael the Archangel, kick him in the behind and send him packing. So, yeah. So that's, oops, wait a minute. I got to go down here. Um, so, yeah, so it's my faith that keeps me, that keeps me going. And, um, it's, um, and it's my friendship, friendships, like with Juliet and John and, um, my other friendships and of course all of you and um, without all of you supporting me I wouldn't be where I am right so if you see someone who is struggling with mental health issues you know say they're sad depressed um, angry, enraged, um, thinking of suicide, um, you know, being at home all the time and staying in bed and not getting dressed and, and that, you know, to please, um, please go and talk to them, you know, even if they're reluctant at first, to um to talk to you just you know just kind of keep at it in a gentle way and you you could find that you know they will eventually open up right and usually with someone like myself and others trust is a big issue okay so it's, um, they have to be able to trust you. They have to know that um, you're not going to stab them in the back or leave them or, um, you know, um, decide that they are not worth the bother and, uh, and that all of that's important it's all important and these people are important so i just want to show you again here this is the fourth and final draw this coming sunday this is a 14 count this is autumn. Now, of course, I did mine in the oranges. So I converted the colors. And uh, these are counted, of course. Okay. So there's this one. And then there's Lady in the Rose Garden. I know they call it Rose and Gate and Courtyard. Doesn't make sense to me. So I call her Lady in the Rose Garden. Okay. So, um... Yeah, so if you would like to be entered into the DRAW for these, listen carefully. You must be over 18. You must, must, must be a subscriber. And just not a fly-by-night. Okay? Because I don't like those. I don't think anybody likes them. You know, where they come on and then they watch so that they can enter the DRAW and then they're gone again and they have no interest whatsoever in um staying on your channel that's that's not nice um you must be in either Canada or the US case okay? and you must tell me in your message Canada or U.S., okay? 
Um, and without that, I want, I, I keep giving grace to everyone because they don't put it in there and I don't want to do that. I just want to, um, um, you know, please put it in there. And also you must use the word bead, beads, beadwork, beading in a sentence and a coherent sentence. Okay. So that I know you're not a bot. Okay, but you must be from either Canada or the U.S. Okay, so have we got that straight now? Okay, and these are quite beautiful. They come with the uh, floss in there. You, know, and you can see the card in there. And this one, of course, has it. Um, Oh my gosh, where are you? Yeah, here it is. Okay, see? It's got that all in there. And this one has got it all in there. So you see, there are needles in there and that. So one will be sent to Canada. And the other one will be sent to someone in the U.S. Okay. So far, I only have one name from Canada. And I would like to see more. Why are you not? Why are you not? <coughs> you know, posting your name. Like, I don't know. But I guess to each their own, right? Maybe you don't like the subject matter. Maybe you don't like that it's counted. Whatever reason. But, yep. So that will be, uh, I will do the spin of the wheel on Sunday. And that one will be after church. And I am slowly starting to get all of my whips together. And I'm going to be numbering them. And uh, then I will do the spin of the wheel to find out what number I will be working on. So but I got to put plastic around my door here. Today, I keep saying I'm going to do it, but no. So, so I'm just going to finish up this L. And that. I saw Natalia Lovecraft Forever. She had this finished. Now, she didn't put any beads in her. She just did strictly stitching. But... Those of you who know me like uh, know that I like to use bling. So I will be putting in these orange and black beads. Okay, so they're orange and black together. I hope they're not too big. Um, and if I don't have enough of them, I will put black. So, these seem to be smaller. These ones seem to be bigger. Maybe they're not going to be... Maybe they're not going to be... Uh, I'm wondering. See how big they are? I don't know. Maybe these aren't going to work. These are quite big. Uh, well, I may, I don't think I have any orange beads, but I can go and look and maybe I can alternate black and orange. I'll see. I'm disappointed with them. They're, they seem to be too 
big for this seat there. Like they seem to be too big for this. Yeah, they're too big. You can see that right away. Too big. Too, too big. So we'll scratch that idea about using these ones. Yeah, not good. Not happy. Oh, well, just means that I'll do something else. You know, or maybe what I'll do if I don't have any orange beads, I'll do um, orange and black. Orange, um, like cross stitch in orange and uh, put a bead in between. You know, so I'll, I'll see. I'll see. Let me just get this L done. No, I would just like to put something in there. And then, of course, comes the dreaded back stitching. And I don't know about you, but I don't like to back stitching at all. Back stitching is BS. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> so. All right, everyone. So I guess that's it. I have to go out and put the garbage out. And I am. Um, I have to get those labels printed off. And. Then I have to go up to the post office, put them in the mail, and then come home and put plastic on my door here and maybe one of the other windows there. I've only got two windows left, so we'll see. All right, everyone. So may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I, and so does Mr. Sydney, and Lily Bell, and Jonah is off. Oh, something must have happened to him yesterday. He got, I don't know if it was Sydney that did it, or if it was another cat that had done it, but it had scratched his ear, and... He had his ear down and he was sleeping most of the time and he looked just r rough, really rough. So he's separate now, but it's a little bit better today, but not as good as I had wanted it, you know, for him. But he is healing, so, and I can't really look at it. He's not letting me, so... Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. Yes, I pray that many times a day. So... All right, everyone, I hope and pray that I will see you here tomorrow. Please like, share, and comment. Help my channel to grow. And um, you can go back and look at reviews that I've done. There's discount codes with most of them. And so please go to these companies and support. And when you use my discount code, it shows these companies, you know, the impact that I have, um, you know, um, the reach that I have to people. So, all right, everyone, I guess I will see you tomorrow. God willing, of course. God willing, of course. Toodle-oodles, everybody.